All right, so we've been looking at segment addition, and in this task, we're going to use the segment addition postulate to set up an equation, which we will then solve for a variable. I think it's x in every case. Segment addition postulate tells us that when we've got a point like E, which is in between D and F, that the distance from D to E plus the distance from E to F equals the overall distance from D to F, or the two parts add up to the whole. So we're going to set up an equation that just says that algebraically. So here we've got DE, that's 11, plus, I'm just going to put these in parentheses, um, EF, which is 2x minus 1, equals DF, which is 3x plus 6. So the two parts added up to make the whole. So first thing I'm going to do is do some combining of like terms over here. I'm going to leave this 3x plus 6 alone. 11 combines with negative 1 to make 10. And I've got the 2x in the middle there. Now I want to get the, um, I only want to have one x term. So I'm going to take away this 2x. Leaves me with 10 over here. 3x minus 2x is just a single x. And I've got the 6 over here. I want to get the x by itself. So I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. And we've got 4 is x. So next door here. Fg, that's 2, plus uh, gh, that's 2x plus 26, 2x plus 26, equals fh, that's the whole length, that's x plus 19, x plus 19. I'm going to start, I'm going to leave this x plus 19 alone, and I'm going to combine like terms over here. I have a positive 2 and a positive 26, make 28. Positive 28, my 2x, nothing to combine that with. Let's see, I've got x terms on both sides. I don't want that. So I'm going to get rid of this x term over here. I take an x away from here. I also have to take an x away from here. Leaves me with 1x over here, plus 28. And the 19 is left alone over there. So I don't know, I want to take this 28 away. I have x equals, uh, and let's see, negative 9. I'm going to take 28 away from 19. I get negative 9. All righty. By the way, if you want to test your answers out on these, I could go back here. If I put negative 9 in here, I get uh, negative 9 plus 19 is 10. And see, this is um, negative 9 plugged in here gives us negative 18. 26 minus 18 is 8. And if I've done it correctly, 2 plus 8 should equal 10. So I did it right. All right. Let's see here. We have x minus 6 plus 1 plus x right here equals the overall length, which is 9. So do some combining of like terms over here. We've got a negative 6 and a positive 1 makes a negative 5. And x and another x makes 2x. Didn't change anything on the side with the 9. We'll add 5 to both sides so that we can get the 2x by itself. 2x equals 14. And then we'll divide by 2 on both sides in order to get the uh, x by itself. x equals 7. All right. Next door here, when we set up our equation, we've got pq is 8 plus x plus 6. x plus 6 should equal the full length, which is 2x plus 14. 2x plus 14. I'm going to leave the 2x plus 14 alone for now. And we're just going to do our combining of like terms over here. So I've got an x right here. And 8 and 6 make 14 when they're combined. So let's see, I've got x terms on both sides, and I don't want that. I only want, I'll get rid of, I'll get rid of the regular x here, just the single x. Leave the 14 alone. So if I take that away, I've taken x away from here. 2x take away an x is just an x. i got a 14 over here. Now I want to get the x by itself. So I'm going to take away this 14. Of course, I have to take away 14 over here. And I get x equals 0. All right. <clears throat> Next up, I've got 9 plus 2x minus 13 equals x plus 3. So for starters, I'm going to leave the x plus 3 alone. I'm going to combine like terms over here. 2. Hold on a second. Uh, let's see, so we got the 2x and the positive 9 and the negative 13 go together to make a negative 4. I've got 2x terms. I don't want two of them. I just want to get rid of one of them. So 
I'll get rid of the one over here. It's going to leave us with a 3. If I take x away from 2x, I just have a single x. Minus 4. Now I want to get rid of the negative 4. I'm going to add 4 to cancel that out. Add 4 to both sides. And I get x equals 7. All right. Let's take a look here. I've got 2 plus x minus 1 equals 2x minus 9. Okay. So for starters, I'm going to leave the 2x minus 9 alone. I'm going to do some combining of like terms over here x, uh, and I've got a negative 1 and a positive 2, that makes positive 1. I'm going to get rid of this x over here, so that I only have one x term left over, because if I take an x away from 2x, I have a single x. I have a negative 9 over there. I'm going to add 9 in order to cancel out this negative 9. Of course, I do that to both sides. 1 plus 9 is 10 equals x. Okay. okay. So, continuing, let's do some more examples here. All right, here I've got that fg, that's uh, 2x plus 32, plus uh, gh, that's 2x plus 25, equals the full length, that's 13. All right, so let's see. I'm going to combine some like terms over here, 2x and 2x, that makes 4x total. 32 and 25 makes 57. Leave the 13 alone for now. I'm going to get the 4x by itself, so I'm going to take this 57 away. Of course, that means I have to take it away from the other side as well. Now, let's see. From 13 to 57 is 44. So that's a negative 44, because I'm going to take 57 away from 13. Um, we're going to put the negative. I made that mistake on another worksheet here. I kept writing them down as positives. Divide by 4. Because divide by the coefficient of x here, and I get negative 11. Okay. Next door here, I've got x plus 4, that's fg, plus, let's see, negative 6 plus 2x equals the full distance, which is 10. Do some combining of like terms over here. I have 2x and another x, that makes 3x total. Positive 4 and negative 6 gives us a negative 2. Leave the 10 alone for now. To get rid of this negative 2, so I can have the 3x all by itself, I'm going to add 2 to both sides. That's going to leave me with 3x over here. When I add 2 to this side, I get 12. Now I'm going to divide by the coefficient of x, that's the 3, and I end up with x equals 12 divided by 3 is 4. Okay. Down here, we've got lm, that's 2x minus 4, plus mn, that's 2x minus 2, equals the total length, ln, which is 10. All right, do some combining of like terms over at 2x, 2 more x, that's a 4x total. I got negative 4 and a negative 2, that's a negative 6, equals 10. I'll help you out in a minute, bud, all right? Now, to get rid of this negative 6, so I can have 4x all by itself, I'm going to add 6 to both sides, that's going to leave me with 4x over here, and I have to add 6 to both sides, 10 plus 6, 16. Now we're going to divide by 4 on each side. We end up with x equals 4. And we're just going to pause for a sec. Okay, next door here. We've got st, that's 2x plus 25, 2x plus 25, plus tu, which is x plus 23, equals the full length, which is 12. See, I'll combine like terms over here. I got an x and two more x. I got 3x total. 25 and 23 are a total of 48 equals 12 on the other side. I want to get this 3x by itself, so I need to get rid of this 48. So I'll subtract it. When I subtract uh, 48 from 12, I get negative 36. So I'm going to divide by 3 on both sides to get x equals negative 12. Okay, down here, we've got that gh, that's 2x minus 5, uh, plus hi, that's 3 plus x, equals a total of gi, that's 19. Okay, so we'll start by combining like terms on this side. i got an x and two more x, that's 3x total. And i got a negative 5 and a positive 3 combined to make a negative 2. And then... In order to get this uh, 3x all by itself, I need to cancel out the negative 2 with a positive 2. So I'll add 2 to both sides. I get 3x, and I get 21 on this side. 
Then I need to divide by 3 to get the x by itself. 21 divided by 3 is 7. All right. Over here, <clears throat> BC is 2x minus 22 plus CD, which is 11, will equal BD, which is x plus 1. Okay, we're going to start over here. I'm going to leave the x plus 1 by itself for now. Uh, and over here, we'll combine like terms. 2x, nothing to combine, but negative 22 and positive 11 combine to make a negative 11. Now, I don't want to have 2x terms. I want to only have 1, so I need to take 1 away. I'll take it away on this side. That's going to leave me with a 1 over there. I take x away from 2x, and I'm left with a single x. The negative 11 wasn't changed. Now, to get rid of this negative 11, I'm going to have to add 11. That's going to leave me with x by itself over here. When I add 11 to the other side, 11 plus 1 is 12, and we're done. All right. So again, segment addition simply tells us that when I have a point like C, which is in between two other points, the distance from B to C plus the distance from C to D uh, will equal the total distance from B all the way to D. And then we use that fact to set up an equation where the two parts equal the whole. Yeah, the two parts added together equal the whole. And then we, from there we just solve the equation. Mm -hmm.